Welcome back, fellow digital photo book creators. This is Carrie from Photo Book Fanatic, and I'm continuing a video on photo book design technique of aesthetics. This is part two of the video, so if you haven't seen part one, I would highly recommend that you pause this video and watch part one first, because I'm going to dive right into the analysis, and without the background information, you won't have a strong understanding of how to analyze. The title of the part one video is Photo Book Page Design Tips and Techniques, Aesthetics Part 1 by Photobook Fanatic. All right, everyone, let's get started here. This is example number six. Take a look and what do you think? Are these colors from the photo environment, people, or contrast? Definitely environment. And what could be said about the embellishments? The leaves and vines go well with the trees that are surrounding the church. And the brown cross with the formal text complements the formality of the church. Moving on to photo page number seven. This is another photo book page that I created a recipe video on. So if you are a Shutterfly fan, be sure to watch that so you can create a page using these very elements. Let's talk about the aesthetics of this page. Are these colors from the photo environment, people, or contrast? Well, it's primarily people because the girls are wearing blue dresses, but there is also a yellow sign that gives us some color. Looking at the embellishments, we have some scrolling and floral stickers, which complement the girl subjects nicely. Let's look at photo page number eight. And if you enjoy the great outdoors, you're in luck because I have a recipe video for this page as well. Camping, hiking, backpacking, and scouting events would do great with these aesthetics, and I bet you can analyze these colors quickly. Yes, they come from the environment. We have a mountain wooded environment. So wood patterns in browns and tree stickers with a typed font notebook page gives us a feeling of cabin life. On a side note, I made use of a small frame to highlight the girl on the balcony, which creates an added element of interest and is something easy to do. This forces the reader to take a longer look at that photo and to understand what the frame is all about. And of course, when you do that, you're gaining the reader's interest. Okay, example number nine, what is the inspiration to this color theme? Is it environment, people, or contrast? Well, this is a combination of people for the blue and environment for the koi. And a water theme with a beautiful orange koi fish goes well with refreshing aqua and pale orange. In terms of embellishment, note the use of two types of patterned blue ribbon, which complement the water and waves of the pond. Next, we have example number 10. This is a green persimmon coral theme, and this actually comes from two sources. The green donates the ocean, and the persimmon donates the girl's dress. So you could say this is another theme that was inspired by both the environment and the people. Now, something special I want to point out on this page is that if you are familiar with my design process, you know that randomizing is one of the ways you create interest. And I mentioned that we need to avoid patterns, but on this page, there is a pattern at the bottom. Well, in this instance, I use the placement of identically sized photos to convey a change in motion of the girl running in the waves. The reader will automatically see that there's something going on and start on the left, then move their eyes along the bottom of the page to see what's changing. And when they do that, they get a feel for movement or change. Neat effect, isn't it? This is another way to create engagement. You've got to check out my engagement video so you can learn other tricks as well. Here's example number 11. What do you think about the photo colors? Where is their inspiration from? Well, if you said people, you got it correct. There's a little girl in a berry colored jumper and another girl with coral pants. Now, if you saw my beach ocean themed table of contents recipe video, then you'll be familiar with this background because it's the same one. But on this particular page, I chose to use a faded purple ribbon at the top. There's quite a few pictures on this page, but there's some good use of framing to make some of the photos stand out. And also, I have good use 
of photo corners to create some extra interest. Okay, there's only two more examples left. Let's take a look at this one. Where did these colors come from? Yes, the colors for this one are inspired from the environment. It's a jungle-like environment, so browns and greens have been used. Some vine stickers really complement the photos. And the two large photos on opposite ends are framed in a way to coordinate with the colors, but they are not identical to each other. So that way we've got more interest. And finally, the last example, where did this color combination come from? The answer is contrast. Here's another historical off-white colored building that really needs a pop of color to make it stand out and be more interesting to the reader. The red color really accomplishes that. And with the old English font and the historical site information cards, you can see how easy it is to make choices that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but start to engage the reader and form memories. Hey, if you're interested in learning more about photo book page design, be sure to check out my photo book design tips and techniques videos. I hope this video on aesthetics has given you some guidance along with some inspiration to make photo book pages that are truly amazing. Have a wonderful day and have fun designing everyone.